name is Sharon Tate. She's today's kind of girl, bursting with youth, beauty, vitality, and hope. The Hope was born two years ago at the MGM Studios in Culver City, California, in the offices of producer Martin Ransoff. It began with a contract with Filmways and an intensive program of lessons, study, and training to become a movie star. Two years later, at the MGM Studios in London, Sharon Tate is reporting for her first motion picture, Eye of the Devil, in which she will star with David Niven and Deborah Carr. Many young hopefuls have started here. Some have become great stars. But before Sharon ever sees a camera, there are long hours of preparation. Hours of each day are devoted to beauty, hairstyling that will frame and flatter the natural beauty of her features, and makeup that will enhance them and project them onto the motion picture screen. There are other long hours of rehearsal, of analyzing each scene, each movement, with director J. Lee Thompson. Sharon was faced with doing a very big and important part. Could she do it? That was in all our minds. We even agreed that if, after the first two weeks, Sharon was not quite uh, making it, that we would put her back in cold storage. We started work very soon. We all realized that here was a girl who was tremendously exciting. She had that thing that you can't really explain, star projection. In addition to the hours of work devoted to bringing out her talent and beauty, there are long sessions before the still cameras. Publicity can help make the difference between Sharon Tate, the actress, and Sharon Tate, the star. And the first step is to have pictures. Lots of them. Co-producer John Kelly knows the value of publicity and gives close attention to it. And even before the shooting starts on Eye of the Devil, Sharon learns that being a movie star also means being written about, talked about, interviewed. I discovered, regardless of how many months and years of acting classes that I have had, I've found that I know absolutely nothing at all. So now I can begin. All rising stylists say, I, I wish they would not think of me as a beautiful woman. I'd like to play Shakespeare. That, uh, that, that rings quite hollow. Well, I don't fool myself. Uh, I, I, I can't see myself doing Shakespeare or anything like that. I would love like comedy, but it takes so long. You know, comedy is one of the most difficult types of acting to do. It takes so long because you have to be so serious, and that's the funny thing about it. And I haven't had the experience at the moment, but I'm giving it <laughs> The work continues. An exercise program has been designed for Sharon's voice. And with each lesson, it becomes lower, stronger, better control. And at night, Sharon studies her script, learning her lines and searching for clues to character and motivation. But there are nights off, too. Sharon can usually be found making the scene at one of London's newest, innest discotheques. Sharon's date and dancing partner is David Hemming, the British star who portrays her brother in Eye of the Devil. In the noted sights, from the famed lifeguards of the household cavalry to the traditional feeding of the pigeons in Trafalgar Square, London is a city of unending interest for Sharon. Hey, Kang, give me that ball, Kang. Wherever there are Americans, there is baseball. But London's Hyde Park is better known for its famous Speaker's Corner, where soapbox orators can always be heard airing their views on every subject imaginable. Big Ben. London Bridge. England is a kaleidoscope of historic sites, like the Tower of London, which now houses England's crown jewels. From historic England to historic France, and the location site for the filming of Eye of the Devil. A medieval castle is the setting for this modern drama of suspense, and for Sharon Tate's first appearance before the motion picture cameras. We were on location in the south of France, 
in, in a place called Breve. The area was kind of mythical, kind of foggy and smoky, and, and it put me in a great mood for my part. And Lee, you know, he's, he's a very mysterious type man, very, very curious eyes. But he knew exactly what he wanted out of his character and knew exactly how to get it out of me. Sharon was asked to play this very difficult role of a rather witch-like person. It was asking a newcomer to do a lot. She takes direction beautifully. Very soon she began to realize that the camera was a friend. An aspiring actress must learn to be at ease with the cameras and complex pieces of equipment that crowd the set, and more importantly, with her technicians and fellow actors. Deborah Carr is my idea of an actress and a woman, you know, a person. And I learned so much from her. You know, just little things, you know, it would take a long time, to, plus a, a lot of her things in acting, you know, to watch. She's so smooth, professional. It's fantastic, really fantastic. The motion picture day starts early. A car is waiting to take Sharon to the day's location, this time a vineyard near the castle. A few pauses in the day's shooting schedule allow time for a quick cup of coffee or a brief session with the ever-present still photographers. It's hard work, but for 22-year-old Sharon Tate, it's fun. The first day that David walked on the location, I, when I was younger, I thought, well, this is the man I'm going to marry. So when he came up, I told him, I said, well, you know, I... I had plans for marrying you for many years. Oh, gee, he's so suave and so elegant and so handsome and witty. And the funny thing about it is I did my first film with him. Sharon is a great discovery. First of all, she's a fabulous looking bird. And she's got all the fun and spark and go. She's a marvelous girl. She's up on cloud nine, Sharon is. And I think she's a very, very good actress. And I think she's gonna, she's gonna obviously she's gonna make a big hit in this picture. But don't you think that kind of ultimatum should come from Philippe? Well, has Philippe said nothing to you? Did he say he would? Did he lie to you? Oh, but you must be used to that by now. Men always lie. Personally, I have no use for them. Catherine, what's the matter? Is the sun bothering you? Are you all right? Would you like to go in? You're getting very tired. Would you like to go in? Your eyes are heavy. You must go to sleep, Catherine. Careful, Catherine. You might fall. Take my hand. Oh, dear. Help me. I am helping you, Catherine. I am helping you. Just a few more steps. Then you'll be safe. And you can hold my hand. Take it. was Sharon Tate as Odile in Eye of the Devil. And this is Sharon Tate as Sharon Tate, girl on the go-go, getting her big chance at stardom. Her first film could do it for her, with stars like David Niven and Deborah Carr, and star makers like producer Martin Ransohoff, and this man, director J. Lee Thompson. The moment that Sharon appeared on the screen in her first rushes, we knew that this wonderful personality was going to make out. I think this girl is going to be a big, big star. It's happening fast for Sharon Tate. Her second film is The Vampire Killers, to be followed by Don't Make Waves, both for Filmways and MGM. But the all-important one is the first one, Eye of the Devil. And it could be the lucky one, because all eyes are on Sharon Tate. Sharon Tate.